Techno continues to push the boundaries with its average to low class uh, consumer base by constantly bringing advanced technology at an affordable price point. And the Techno Spark 20 Pro Plus is the most recent of this example. At about 300,000 Naira or just about $190, it has got specs that, uh, if found on the Samsung or many other brands, would cost twice as much. But the main inspiration behind this video is actually another video I came across on YouTube. Now, the video is actually not in English, but it is titled Techno Spark 20 Pro Plus 5 Big Problems. Then goes on to list 5 great aspects of this device. Let's take a look at the video and I'll show you just how wrong it is. First point he made was the fingerprint sensor, claiming it doesn't work. And you can see him try it out 4 or 5 times without any success. After which he decides to use the pattern unlock instead. Now this guy is either a clown or new to the concept of an on-screen fingerprint sensor. Because look, this is what this guy is doing. He's basically pointing at the sensor with the tip of his finger rather than placing it flat on it with a bit of pressure. I mean at this price point, we can't be expecting flagship level responses from this device. But in my day-to-day -day use of this device, my experience with the fingerprint sensor is, it is quite good. I've never really had a problem unlocking this device with more than one try. Which makes this point a plus, for the pro plus rather than a mistake. Leading to point number two, gaming graphics. Now he goes ahead to highlight PUBG on this point, so I will also be testing out PUBG. Meanwhile, this phone costs just about $190, so let's not be quick to compare it to flagships or gaming devices. In his video, and according to him, the gaming graphics is uh, one of the big mistakes because in settings, the highest you can go is HD, and on high frame rates. So now my thing is, if I spend 300k on a device and it looks like this, and with great specs, and then I log into PUBG to have some game time, and as you can see, even in HD settings, the graphics are pretty good and gameplay is smooth, responsive, and with no lags. Granted, the device starts to warm up a bit after long gameplay, and again, at this price point, I'd say gaming is a big plus number two for the Pro Plus. And if you're a hardcore gamer looking to spend most of your time gaming, then definitely spend an extra $200 and get yourself a proper gaming device. Moving on to point number 3, he complains about gameplay lagging while screen recording. Now, the Spark 20 Pro Plus has integrated screenshots and recording quite seamlessly, as this draw pops up while in some apps and websites, giving you an easier access to the option, which is great. And yeah, I personally didn't experience any issues with screen recording during gameplay. So yet again, this is a plus and not a mistake for the Pro Plus. His fourth big mistake point is about the camera bump of the Spark 20 Pro Plus. I know some people are not fans of the design itself, but I personally love it. And to counter his point of its inability to lay flat on a surface being a mistake, I'd say firstly I am glad it is so, because this device is pretty slippery and without the bump it will slide off surfaces so easily. I have personal experiences of this device slipping off surfaces when I place the device screen down. So now I always just put it on its back. Moreover, most new flagships from top brands are rocking similar designs, so definitely they can't all be mistakes. And with that, it is safe to say this is also a big plus for the Techno Spark 20 Pro Plus. His final point was that YouTube music will not play in the background. It, it kind of made me laugh because while I was scrolling and you know while I ran into his video, I was literally playing YouTube music on the background with the Techno Spark 20 Pro Plus. This point made me think he just made his video for clicks rather than actually try to educate the viewers. I understand. We content creators with small channels would love to draw in views. But well, it's always good to tell it as it is and not misguide anyone with misinformation. So YouTube music works great and works in the background as well, completing 5 big pros for the Techno Spark 20 Pro Plus. Don't get me wrong though, this device is not without its flaws, which I'll be covering in my full review of this device coming soon. So be sure to subscribe so as not to miss out on that video or any future videos. Drop a like if this video has been useful to you. Thank you for your time. Till we see you again. Bye-bye.